morning guys and welcome back to another What I Ate Today on Weight Watchers Blue Plan. This is that once in a Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new and you're just finding me my name's Olivia and I would love it if you wanted to stick around a while hit the red subscribe button down below join my channel and if you are a returning subscriber hey welcome back it's always so nice to see you and by the way guys you can always find me over on Instagram I'm at Olivia Frida Curbs and that's always linked in the description box down below as well so welcome back to my channel today guys and thank you so much for clicking on to this video I I am if you are new and you are just finding me um like i mentioned my name is olivia and i'm on weight watchers blue plan i've been on the program for just under two years and i've lost um just over i think i'm at 57.3 pounds lost now i am just sharing with you a day in the life a little what i eat in a day on weight watchers things that i've enjoyed or like new things i'm looking to try and I'm excited for today's video. We are back in the kitchen and we are cooking today. And I just went with a really simple breakfast this morning. Um, so my premier protein coffee, which if you haven't tried this, it's really delicious. It's only two points and I use the caramel flavor and I use two shots of espresso and Correct me if I'm wrong, if you are a barista or if you um, know how to make this coffee. Um, I tried it differently today. I used the ice and then I put the um, shake first in the coffee and then I put the two shots of espresso that I just made my Nespresso maker. And I hope that's right because I remember before I used to put the um, espresso first over the ice and then someone who is a barista actually commented down below and said that's actually not the right way. So did I do it right this time? I don't know, maybe I didn't. So if I didn't, let me know and I will try and improve and make sure I do it correctly, but it's just such a good, um, an easy go-to breakfast and I'm really not that hungry this morning. That's kind of the case many mornings. I'm just not and I feel like today I have like a lot of errands and stuff to run and I don't want to be having like a full stomach on the go. So I just went with this and then I'm also having a little plum on the side. I love these little, um, I think these are the black plums and they're so delicious and I just like an underrated fruit. You know what I mean? So yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast. I'm gonna take it slow this morning. It's the weekend. I'm just gonna take my time, enjoy my day, and we're gonna try something new for lunch today. So I'm looking forward to getting into that in a little bit. I am going to just kind of get ready. I'm gonna go shower, blow dry my hair, all that kind of stuff, and just take my time, enjoy my morning. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, so I will see you guys back here for lunch. Hey 
Hey guys, okay, so it's lunchtime. I'm super excited to um, be making this today something different, but totally being transparent, open, and honest with you guys, as per usual. It is later in the day, it's almost three o'clock, which is crazy. And I'm just, I don't know, like, Again, I think I mentioned this earlier, I wanted to take my time with things today and just kind of like slow down. I have been crazy busy lately and just go, go, go. And I have noticed I just look tired. Um, I just wasn't feeling the greatest and I just feeling burnt out and run down, I guess is the main point. But I like specifically decided that I was gonna just like relax this weekend and just do things on my own time still lots of filming and all of that kind of stuff but i love that but it does take it out of you but again it's something i personally really enjoy but i just did it at my own pace and that being said it is obviously later it's almost three o'clock and i'm making my lunch only just now but i slept in today like i was up like later than usual and then i had my coffee my fruit and then i've also been pretty good with my water already today so this is the hydro jug um and i share this pretty much in every video i just love it um it helps me get motivated to have my water throughout the day if it's in like a jug that's really pretty if that makes sense i don't know if you guys feel the same or need like something like this to motivate you but I do have a coupon code for Hydro Jug, which is linked down below. It's not an affiliate code or anything like that, but it is just a discount for you guys if you're interested. I personally love Hydro Jug. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so had my shower, did my hair, watched YouTube videos, did my makeup, like just enjoyed the day, which I don't know, it's just perfect. So that being said, now it's time for lunch and I'm really excited to be making um, Kodiak cakes today. So I'm having a little bit more of like breakfast for lunch kind of deal today. And it's just because I haven't tried these yet. I've had them sitting in the cupboard for a little bit and I'm really excited. They are plant-based flapjack and waffle mix. And this is just the classic mixture. I, I know that there are other ones that you can get, but this one's just the, um, the classic and you just add water. So you don't need eggs, you don't need milk, and no sort of dairy that you need to add to this. That's super easy and it's also really um, packed with protein, 12 grams of protein, and they look like this. I also love the packaging. I think it's so nice and yeah, so I'm just gonna use one cup of this with uh, one cup of water and see how many that makes. Um, and then on the side, I'm gonna be having a little bit of syrup. It's the Edie Smith brand, I think. Let me just grab it two seconds. I already feel like I'm like more energetic in this video just because I've taken a break, I guess, just to slow down, which again, is just totally not like me, but I feel more energetic and excited than usual. Anyways, I'm using this Edie Smith brand. This is sweetened with sucralose, added, oh, it says and concentrated white grape juice. Um, but anyways, this is the syrup that I'm gonna be using today. I'm just using a little bit and um, that'll be enough for my pancakes. And I'm gonna add some fun little sprinkles on top. So I just purchased these from Walmart and I just love the colors. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on it just for fun, just for funsies and just to see what that looks like. And I'm also gonna be having this double smoked back bacon. This I'm just gonna probably have two slices, maybe three, um, but two slices is one point, which is great. And I'm just gonna make it in the microwave just super quickly because that's the easiest. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna mix up this little mixture, get it going, and um, I'm gonna share with you how I do that.
Okay guys, so this is what um, the serving looks like for me that I'm gonna have. It's six points just for this, and it's basically half of the mixture. So I'm just gonna have the bigger one, and I'm still counting it as six points. There is one other smaller one, which I'm not gonna have, but I am just gonna have this. I'm gonna like put some, I also, let me just show you, I have some of the um, Gailey. I'm also gonna have some of the I'm also going to have some of the um, light whipped cream just a little bit on top um, as well as the syrup and some of the sprinkles which I won't be counting the sprinkles but let's put this together. <laughs> so I don't want it to totally ruin the shot, but this is so pretty. I just put some little sprinkles on this and then the whipped cream. And I also mixed in some vanilla with the actual mix, so I'm excited for the kind of like sweet little treat this is gonna be. And then I also have the bacon, which I'm just gonna add right now. Okay, so I added the bacon on the side and this is ready to be eaten. I'm so excited to try this. Okay guys, so here is my little lunch plated up and look how cute this looks i really like the idea of like dressing up your meals and making them more fun so i'm gonna go ahead and try this and let you guys know i already know i love the bacon you know that's a given but let's try this kodiak cake some of the whipped cream some of the syrup let's go for it that is really good I had it in my mind that this was going to be something that was like a little bit more not as exciting because it's a little bit more of like a plant-based protein pancake, but this is so good, you guys. I'm very impressed. Delicious. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go and eat this lunch. So all together, I think, let me just calculate how many points this is and I'll let you guys know. I think this is nine points for this lunch and I'm totally fine with that it's a really delicious like different kind of meal so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna enjoy this and i will meet you guys back here for a snack in just a little bit this is so good why have i not made this before hey guys okay so it's snack time we're having kind of like you know, little snack, little afternoon pick me up. And I'm having some of the Boom Chicka Pop. I'm really excited. Believe it or not, I've never actually tried this. So I'm just not the biggest popcorn person. So for me, that's not a go-to, but I was really intrigued by this because this is the sweet and salty kettle corn. And I thought this would be kind of like a nice, I don't know, like little sweet treat in the middle of the day. I'm, I'm obviously very much into sweets today and it's only 80 calories per cup, three points for a full cup of this. And how cute is the packaging? Like, I love that. It's a really pretty look and I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna have a cup of this and see how it is. I'm also having an apple with it just because I know I want a little bit more fruit in my day today. So I have one la last apple to have and that'll be it. I'll need to go shopping again. Okay guys, so I have it all poured out. This is a cup worth of the Boom Chicka Pop, the sweet and salty flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try this because I've never tried this brand and I'm just gonna do a little taste test for you guys and just let you know what it's like. So I don't know if like some are sweet, some are salty, or if they're, it's like kind of a mixture on all of them. So let's go for it. I really like that because you kind of have like that like sweet flavor but the the saltiness just like makes it pop all together so makes it pop it's popcorn olivia guys i'm sorry about that i don't know what happened but this is really good i actually i don't know i i say i'm not a popcorn person and then the minute i have it i'm so happy i have it i actually really enjoy popcorn <laughs> 
I don't know why I said I'm not really a popcorn person, but it's just not something I go to. Like if I'm looking for crunchy and like something salty, it's chips. It's always chips. So like the poppables or like even Pringles are pretty good in points um, or some of those like smaller portioned out chip bags can be really great just because they're already portioned out. Um, I love those and those are my go-tos, but this is definitely worth it. It's really good. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna have my popcorn, I have my apple and I'm also having my water. So that's it. That's all I'm having for my afternoon snack. And I will see you guys back here for dinner. Hey guys, okay, so I'm super excited. It is dinner time and I'm hungry. I'm gonna be having a twice baked potato tonight. And potatoes are something that I have definitely enjoyed uh, throughout my journey. I'm a potato girl. I love them like fries, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, uh, scalloped potatoes all the potatoes, I love them. And uh, that's kind of the beauty of WW is you can just sort of like make it fit into your points. You can eat whatever you want. Baked potatoes are definitely something I enjoy, like especially with like a steak dinner or like chicken or something. Uh, but tonight I'm gonna do it like a twice baked. So the difference is I just, I haven't made this exact one before. So I'm actually gonna be using tuna. So I have some chunk light tuna here in water that I'm gonna be mixing in with a little bit of Helen's half the fat mayo and then a little bit of this light Italian style cheese. So it's just the great value one. Pretty low in points. I'm just gonna use a little bit because I don't want it super, super cheesy, but it's gonna be kind of like a tuna melt mixed in with the potatoes. So this one is just the great value potatoes. I just picked this up because they're super easy. You just put them in with the foil and I'll cook this at 400 for around 45 minutes-ish. But this is kind of more of a medium size, by the way. So this is not one that I would count as a large potato. Like it's actually smaller than my hand. So I'm gonna count this at five points and it'll be a pretty decently low dinner. I'm also gonna have on the side a little mixture of mushrooms and onions. So this will be perfect because I think it'll be nice and savory on the side. And then whatever I don't eat, I will be able to pack up and have this throughout the week um, as another side dish. So I'm gonna let these cook down, saute, and it'll be really yummy on the side. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead, pop the potato in the oven, and then I'll be meeting you guys back here when I'm uh, mixing up all the rest of the ingredients. So for my mushrooms and onions, I'm gonna use a tablespoon of this light basil just for a little bit of yummy buttery taste. And then I'm also gonna use some ham as well just so that they kind of saute up nicely. I'm also going to use a little bit of white salt, uh, a tiny bit of the seasoned salt, and then I'm also gonna load up on a good amount of some black pepper. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I like to cook down the onions a little bit first and then I'll throw in the mushrooms. Okay, so now I'm going in with the mushrooms and I just want you guys to know that I haven't seasoned up the onions or anything like that because it'll draw a lot of moisture out of the mushrooms and it all they already might soak up that butter. So I'm gonna have to see how that goes, but I don't add any of the salt, pepper, like any of the seasoning until the mushrooms are cooked down quite a bit. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings and I'm not gonna add a ton just cause I don't wanna like overdo it on salt and sodium and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just literally gonna add enough just to give it a really good flavor. I did forget, I'm gonna add a little bit of thyme as well, just because I really love that in my mushrooms and onions. And yeah, let me give it a good mix. Okay guys, so the potato is out of the oven and I'm going to take it out of the foil. I'm going to cut off the top of it and then scoop out the insides as best I can, just kind of leaving a good little layer on the bottom of the potato. Uh, so it kind of remains, you know, 
held up and then I'm going to let the inside of it cool in a bowl so that I can get that all mixed together with the tuna mixture soon. Just so you guys know, I'm only gonna be using half of the tuna mixture just because it's one potato. And the other rest of the tuna I'm just putting in a container so that I can have that for lunch or something else this week. Okay, so now that the potato is pretty much cooled, I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my bowl so that I can mix it all up. And I'm also going to add a little bit of this cheese. I'm not really adding that much just because I don't want it too cheesy, so we're just going in with a little bit. together okay so this is what the mixture looks like it's definitely a good portion to put back into this potato and then I'm gonna put it back onto the baking sheet and put it back in probably for like 10 to 15 minutes and just check on it maybe even 20 minutes depending on how long it takes to warm through okay so this is what it looks like before it's going in it looks really good already, so I'm really excited to try this one. So I think it's maybe even going to be more so like 20 minutes uh, to get it nice and warmed through the whole potato. So I'm going to put this into the oven and let it cook. Okay, guys, so it's out of the oven. It smells really good, and it looks super tasty. I think it would be even more kind of golden and like broiled on top if I, A, turned on the broiler, and B, if I had more cheese on top. But I am going to like it just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and plate up everything and I'll show you what it looks like. So here it is, all plated up. I've got my twice-baked tuna baked potato, and then I also have on the side the mushroom and onions, but I put them on a bed of arugula just because, guys, I just love arugula. So I knew I wanted some extra greens for today, so I figured that's how I was gonna have them. But yeah, all together, I think this is eight points because the potato is five, the cheese is one, the Hellman's half the fat is another point, and then the basil with the mushrooms and onions is a point. So eight points all together for this dinner and it's gonna be super delicious. Okay, so here is my plate, just so you guys can see for portion. I always like to show that so that you can see it's actually a really big portion for dinner and this is gonna fill me right up, I'm so excited. But I do wanna try the potato just so you guys know what it tastes like, I'm excited. My only like kind of question was, should I have put salt and pepper in the mixture? I probably should have. That was definitely an oversight and I completely forgot. Okay, look at that. So it's like super cheesy, even with the little tiny amount that I put in and it's really hot. So I definitely baked it enough time. So I did it for 18 minutes total for this potato. It's really nice and crispy like the edges, but on the inside it's nice and warmed through and that's what I was looking for. So. Okay, I'm gonna go in for it. I'm really excited to try this, so let's go for it. Guys, that's so good. That's really freaking good. Oh my gosh. You know what? I actually don't feel like it needs the salt. Maybe even like if I put the tiny, I know this is weird, but maybe if I had put in a little bit of a tiny, tiny bit of butter in with the potato first, mashed that up, and then added the tuna, I think that it would make the potato a little bit more creamy. Just because it's kind of like, it's kind of just like falling apart and flaky, which is fine. And it definitely is nice and um, mixed up with the tuna. I can really taste that. But I think that it would have made the potato that little bit nicer if I just kind of put in a little bit of basil with the potato. Oh my gosh, you guys, you have to make this. This is really, really good. I feel like potatoes, you know, get overlooked because you think of them as being high point, you know, options, but they're really not. And if you make it into a fun kind of meal like this, it's so worth it. Mm. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my dinner and I'll meet you guys back here for dessert. You guys, dinner was so good. I'm actually really full right now. I feel like I need to give myself a minute, but I am going to film dessert now because I really wanna go and just like lay on the couch for a little bit. So I'm just gonna share with you guys what I'm having for dessert and then I'm gonna go and like 
melt into the couch basically. So for dessert tonight, I was put onto this by, I realized it was Sophia Marie D and uh, you know, she is phenomenal. So definitely check out her channel if you want some really fabulous YouTube inspiration content to follow. She's a WW YouTuber, but also like has so many other fun videos. So anyways, Fiverr One um, Bars. So I went ahead and picked up the chocolatey fudge brownies, which are these ones. They are, I think they're five points a bar. And then I also, from recommendation from other people who saw me pick this one up, they suggested that I pick up the lemon flavor. So this one is four points, I think, for, for the lemon. And I haven't tried the lemon, but I do know that I really love the brownie ones. And the trick to this is that you put them into the microwave for 10 seconds and then you put on some like, I don't know if you want Cool Whip on the side or if you want like a little bit of whipped cream. It's really delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have one of these today and that will end my day. I am gonna put a little bit of whipped cream on top but not enough to count. And that will put me, I think at 25 points or 26 points for the day. That'll, that'll end my day just a slight bit over but I had a really great day with some really great food and some we tried some new things, which I think is really important to get outside of your comfort zone and just kind of, you know, try new little food finds. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to heat this up and I'll show you what that looks like once it's all put together. All right, there's my dessert, I'll plate it up. And I don't know if you can tell, so I warmed it up and then that little like drizzle of chocolate on top is really melty and the whole, that's melty is not a word, but it's, you know what I'm saying, it's melted and it's really nice and soft now. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. Yeah, so this is my dessert tonight. It's just a little five point dessert and I'm gonna really enjoy this. It's gonna be delicious. The only other thing that I am kind of craving is a little bit of sparkling water. So I pulled it out just cause I might have this while I'm kind of hanging out. This is the lime bubbly and I really like this. It's obviously at zero points. It's just a sparkling water. And I really like the lime one the best. For me, I just love anything like citrus flavored. I know they have a ton of different flavors, but I picked this one up and I'm gonna have this with my dessert and just kind of relax and enjoy the night. So that's gonna do it for this What I Eat In A Day on Weight Watchers Blue Plan. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out me and it helps out my channel more than you know. I would love, however, if you wanted to leave me suggestions from my segment of the From Your Plate to Mine, I would definitely love to bring that back next video and share another viewer picked meal option. So let me know in the comment section down below your WW friendly meals, even fall favorites, things as we're getting into the fall, I would love to recreate and share with you guys and try new things. And of course, if you haven't already, I would love for you guys to hit the red subscribe button down below. Join my little YouTube family. It would mean the world to me and I would love to have you guys join for more videos. And of course, you can find me over on Instagram. I'm at Olivia Frida Curves over there. And that's always listed in the description box down below as well. But thanks again, guys. And uh, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.